Hi, this tutorial is going to show you how you can set up Sam Broadcaster to work with the Nelsoft streaming video format, otherwise known as NSV. Um, for this you'll need two sound cards. In my case I use a USB headset, a Logitech USB uh, Premium 350 I believe, um, which is a sound card in itself and you'll probably also need either a sound card or onboard sound. In my case I have onboard sound. The way that I did this, or well, the way that I originally had SAM set up, was so that everything uh, for the mic went straight to the encoders, so that you don't hear it. Uh, for this, you need to switch it back to mixer the way it usually is, or the way it is by default, and then press OK. Now for this, what I did was, I had my air output going to... where is it? My air output going to my onboard sound, um, and you'll see why in a minute. And my Q output uh, for with that goes to my uh, headset. Which one is it? My headset earphone, which is my Logitech headset. Um, so you just press apply. You'll now see that. Oh no, there's no difference. But um, you'll see that I've got air and Q turned on uh, for both decks. But you'll see that I've got air turned on. Uh, for the mic, so everything goes out to the onboard sound card, and but I've got Q turned off for the voice effects, so I don't hear myself back in my headset. Uh, now, what else did I do? Uh, it would really help if I, you know, wrote down what I was going to say, but I'm just going to, you know, wing it and see how I go. Um, for this, what you'll need to do is you'll actually need to set Windows default sound card um, to your headset so that Windows sounds and MSN Messenger sounds and stuff like that doesn't get outputted to uh, the onboard sounds and doesn't interfere with uh, the NSV broadcast. Um, so in my case, that's already been done. Uh, what you need to do now is, by default, in Windows Vista, uh, Stereo mix uh, on your sound card will probably not be available. So what you do is um, you just tick the box that says Show Disabled Devices, which is here. Uh, that was in Control Panel and Sound and on the Recording tab. And all I did uh, to get this to work was I went into NSV Cap. If I just open that and say yes to that stupid thing. Um, okay, that's on and I just went to devices and told it that I wanted to record it from stereo mix and that's why that's why I told Sam to to change the air output to the onboard sound but because the Q output uh, which you know f for this case it's just a second sound card or a second output basically for the Q output that's why I told Sam to use the headset so I could also hear the music when it's playing but because the Q output is turned off for voice effects, I don't hear myself back through my headset, so that's that's a good thing. Um, for the NSV live capture, now I'm assuming that um, people have already got the relevant codecs and stuff that they need to set up uh, NSV. Um, if you don't, just visit scvi.net. I think it's scvi.net anyway. Uh, let me just check that. Just doing a little bit of, uh, you know, I shouldn't really be doing this while I'm recording the video, but um, scbi.net. Uh, let me see if that's it. Yep, there's all that sort of stuff. Um, it's all about NSV streaming and stuff like that. Um, what you'll want to do, though, the one thing I will recommend is that you go to NSV and then config and set the audio video sync, which is here you set that to 300 milliseconds. Um, the reason being you've got the delay from Sam when it processes the audio and you've also got the delay from the other sound card as well. Um, as I said, all you do, basically, it's really easy. You do need two sound cards for this, as I said, but my headset is also a sound card. Um, all you do is you go to um, File, Config, Audio Mixer Pipeline, air out, set your air output to um, your sound card, um, or you know, your, just, uh, how can I put this, just just set it to, um, yeah, just your, just your onboard sound, because you'll want to get NSV cap to record a stereo mix, um, 
set set your Windows sound to go to the sound card that's not being used by NSV cap so your sounds don't get outputted and also set your Q output to the second sound card as well. So basically you've got a dedicated sound card that's outputting the sound from Sam Broadcaster straight into NSV cap and you can also um, after that that's it all you do is you just set up your standard audio encoders and stuff like that in Sam. Um, that's pretty much it as I said you do need uh, two sound cards but um, it's pretty easy. It basically, all I've done is I've just said, yep, out, um, output the audio that Sam gets to uh, my onboard sound, and I want NSV cap to record from stereo mix on that sound card. So it records everything that the uh, everything that the sound card outputs, and it just uh, puts it out on air. Um, the other thing you want to do to make sure NSV cap or the audio on NSV cap is um, loud enough is this is just in uh, this is this is for Vista, but I've just gone to speakers, um, so I've selected the onboard sound, and I think I had the audio about or the volume about 50%. Um, if not, just fiddle around with it, and um, you'll find the right setting. But that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, just have your second sound card as your Q output and your output for your Windows sounds and stuff. And your first sound card, just have that as the dedicated air output for Sam. Um, so that NSV cap can record off it. And also make sure you have Q output turned off for voice effects so you don't get uh, you don't get to yourself back and all that delay and all that sort of garbage. But that's about it. If you've got any questions, um, just post or post on the YouTube video or you can also go here to www.radio-forums.net and I'll see if I can help you out. Just message Braden, uh, which would be me. But um, that's about it. Oh, before I go, um, also to mainly uh, because uh, it eliminates dropped frames, I use a free program uh, to stream my NSV. It's called Minicam. It can be gotten from www.minicam. That's M-A-N-Y-C-A-M.com. Um, that allows you to put text over video. It allows you to select your video source. But by setting the uh, Minicam virtual webcam in NSV cap to your uh, video input device or output device, however you want to look at it, it also eliminates dropped frames especially on a slower computer. I'm running a Core 2 Duo 2.33 gigahertz um, which would you know run it fairly well you would you would hope uh, but I've also got a Pentium 3 735 megahertz and that doesn't do it very well which is why I came up with this method to do it with two PCs. I uh, hope this video was clear enough uh, if not just post uh, here on www.radio-forums.net as I don't really check YouTube that often so if you can just post there if you've got any issues and I'll help you out. Uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, enjoy. <laughs>